There are some super, super cool features that people are coming up with for this little radio, the Quan Cheng UVK5. Things such as a calibrated S meter or maybe a super, super cool spectrum scanner. That's pretty sweet. Or maybe you're bored and you just want to play a good old-fashioned game of Pong. This radio has become quite... Uh, hackable i suppose we've seen firmware come out for the radio which allows it to receive beyond what it would, its specifications uh, or specify it uh, goes all the way down i think from 18 megahertz up to 1300 megahertz so we saw some hacked firmware there and it seems like the chip or the at least the firmware in this is quite versatile too so this was originally released as an article on hacker day talking about this radio the quan shang radio which speaks about it uh, getting an upgrade thanks to a Trojan, <laughs> is what they're calling it. Um, not a tr not a Trojan virus, that's just what it's being called, okay? But anyway, if you go over to the GitHub here, um, this is called the UVK5 Playground. There's probably going to be some more stuff that's going to pop up on here. There's some pretty cool, interesting things. So you can flash here a uh, spectrum scanner. So this basically... Um, loads in a yeah loads in like a spectrum bar graph and you can zoom in and make it you know you can move it along and all this other stuff too basically to download any of these mods all you got to do is download these bin files and upload using the original uh, Quan Chang firmware upgrade software uh, so in this case with the spectrum scanner basically all you need to do is just load it in and here's some of the instructions on how to operate it the RSSI uh, signal bar, so this is a calibrated S meter, which is probably one of the best um, mods that you could do or firmware mods that you could do. This is pretty cool. Look, it actually shows a, um, a cool little um, signal strength meter and also uh, so that you've got the meter, but you've also got the RSSI number here um, in dB. So you can see it's showing plus 10, plus 20 dB there on the S meter, which is pretty cool. So that's much more usable than uh, the standard S meter that it comes with, that's for sure. They have the little S meter on it, but they don't. it doesn't really mean too much. Um, they usually just so, sort of show full as if there's a, a signal being received and then they just disappear, they don't vary. There is also another variation of that called the RSSI printer. This uh, shows the, the number in uh, the numerical format, but also includes a small signal level chart as well here too. So that's also uh, handy. And then also you've got the classic game of Pong as well. <laughs> if you uh, bought this radio and you think that it's useless, at least you can still play a game of Pong on it. So there you go. So we'll do a quick demo here. This is again using the Quan Sheng firmware software, uh, sorry, firmware updater. So what you need to do is with the radio is hold the PTT button down while turning it on and you'll see that the flashlight comes on. There's nothing on the screen. Plug in your programming cable, which is uh, I'm just using the Baofeng cable. Plug that in and uh, make sure you connect to the correct COM port and then just hit update and that will flash the firmware. You'll see that the light will start to flicker. And once that's done after a little while, successful. This is the printed S meter. So you can see there it's about, it says minus 73, 72, and you can see the little, the printout that it shows. So that's handy for if you're going in and out of signal strength, you can see it move up and down. I actually filmed this video a couple of days ago and I'm adding this bit in because a new feature has just um, landed on the UVK5 Playground website. So I wanted to demonstrate this to you because this is actually another pretty cool little thing. So what I've got over here is I've got my two radios and I've loaded this newest firmware. And if I turn them both on and both press the flashlight button, you get this little AFSK messenger. So what I can do is I can actually type in a little message. So you just got to use the key or the keypad and sort of figure out where the buttons would normally be. It's pretty close to what you would get on when you text on a phone or something. Oh, except I've uh, typed that wrong. There we go. Oh, there we go. I've typed it wrong again. Um, anyway, if I have a look at there, I've typed out my my message or whatever. And then if I hit the menu button, have a look at this radio on the left. And you heard it there probably in the background. 
Look at that. I can now text between the two radios in this mode. So uh, yeah, cool little mod for the Quantrang UVK5. So these are still going relatively cheap at the moment. You can get them on Amazon. There is a link in the description below, which is an affiliate link. It helps support the channel. So if you'd like to purchase using that, then I'd really appreciate it. Now, if you want to see some more videos on this radio, this little, like this is just cheap as chips radio, then there is a link to a playlist right here of all of the UVK5, everything that you need to know, reviews, software, etc. right here. So check it out.